This video explains how you can use the Spire price matrix so that your customers will get their own part numbers on the order instead of your part numbers. So what you do is go into inventory first of all, find the item you want to set a customer's part number on. Let's choose this Acme Fit Junior here. And we'll go into price matrix, add a price, and the customer we're going to use for this is Jackson Fitness Center. They're going to use their own part number, so we're going to call this JFC for their part number. And the item that we're doing is this jump rope, so let's say they call it a JU226. Okay. And if they get a special price, you can set the special price on here, but otherwise you can leave this at a zero discount if it's just your list price. But let's go ahead and set a price. So this item normally sells for $15. Let's say they were giving them to them for $12. That shows us we're still getting a 16.25% margin based on the $12. All right, so now we're going to save this and close the inventory item. Now we're going to go into sales and we're going to sell that item to Jackness Fitness Center. And then we choose them. We got a pop-up note, make sure there's no invoices over 60 days that our AR put on there. And now we're going to sell them an Acme jump rope. And you'll see the $12 price shows up automatically. And then here, the spot that we put in their customer um, part number, it shows up their part number. So we call it price reason because it can be used for a variety of items, but one of the main ones is used for is customer pricing. So therefore now you just go ahead and print this invoice and you put a formula on your um, crystal report that prints your invoice that says, if the price reason is not blank, then use the price reason. If it is blank, to use your part number. So therefore they'll get their part number on it. Then of course, under the purchasing side, there's no problem with the vendor's part number being on there because if we go back to inventory, so now it's a kind of a third step where the vendor has a different part number than you as well. Under here, we add in the vendor part number. So we choose the vendor that we buy this from and we can put their part number in here. And then when you create the purchase order, it shows up this part number on it. So we got all the bases covered from your part number to your vendor's part number to your customer's part number. And so every customer you sell to gets their own part number right on the order and on the invoice.